Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have some Monday motivation for you. I am speed cleaning my downstairs, showing you how I deep clean my good microfiber towels and mop pad and even have a little DIY I do. If you are new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe if you enjoy these types of videos. I'm jumping right in with tidying up the kitchen a bit. I typically always start here because it seems to need the most attention in my house. I'm getting the dishes going and giving the whole kitchen a once over and just putting away the few things I picked up from the store.
in here I'm just showing you some of these cute little pumpkins I picked up while I was at Walmart today and then these little notebooks that they had they were all like a dollar or two they are super cute and they had a ton of selection and then just this little tiny planner just to help me finish out the rest of the year For the microwave, I will often just heat up some water in there for a little bit just to kind of steam all the mess off the sidewalls, but it is not that bad today, so I'm just going to give it a quick wipe down. And now I'm just using some of the Method Stainless Steel Cleaner just to polish up the stainless steel here in the kitchen. Honestly, I prefer to use just the microfiber towels because I feel like one of those, just very slightly damp, just leaves the stainless steel completely streak free without any film and it's just the easiest way to clean it and that's often how I prefer to do it. Speaking of microfiber towels, here is my collection of high-end microfiber towels. I have been kind of saving them up just to give them a real good deep clean and I'm going to show you how I do that right now. So to start, I'm going to just get a few large pots full of some hot water and then get those all boiling. 
And then while that's boiling, I'm going to get the other stuff ready, such as the laundry detergent and the vinegar that I like to use. It is recommended not to use fabric softener on these sorts of towels because they are treated to kill bacteria and when you put the fabric softener on there, it leaves like a coating, which is not good for the towel. So this is a way to just give them a nice, good, deep clean, and I'm just using the free and clear laundry detergent here, and then the vinegar acts like an odor neutralizer and fabric softener. So I just pour those right into the pots of hot water, give it a good stir to make sure it's nice and mixed, and then I kind of like to separate them. I put the floor pad separate from the other ones that I clean with, and then my glass and polishing cloths I like to put separate as well. And then I just stir it around a little bit with that spoon, make sure to get the fibers nice and open with that boiling water and it just really releases all of the dirt that is built up in there. And then I'm just gonna leave those in there soaking, usually about a half an hour while I just get working on some other things. I have recently been doing some redecorating in the master bedroom. I have removed all of this amber colored glass that we've had for years and I'm just giving it a coat of some satin finished paint just to give it a bright fresh new look. So while those dry and the cloths soak, I'm going to give the floor a sweeping with this Casabella broom. I do run the vacuum almost daily, but when I mop, I like to go ahead and use an actual broom just to make sure and get all the hair and all the dust and all the little crumbs up off the floor so that it's nice and clean for the mop. So now that these have been soaking for a while, I'm gonna go ahead and just pour them out and then give them a good rinsing and make sure and kind of work the fabric and agitate it a bit just to make sure everything is released and they're nice and fresh. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just use this mop pad. This is a microfiber mop pad. This is the Norwex brand. Um, there's also the e-cloth brand. These mops are amazing. You literally just need water. You just wet the microfiber and then it just disinfects on its own. 
So they are so easy and convenient to use and you just rinse it out when you're done, let it dry and it's ready for the next time or you can throw it in the wash. Here in Arizona it is quite dry so I do use a squirt bottle to continuously wet the floor but in some areas you may be able to just do the entire floor with the wet pad itself and not even need the squirt bottle. So here I am just getting her put up in the high chair so that I can go ahead and mop without her slipping all over the floor.
I absolutely love this Method Daily Wood Cleaner. It is almond scented and it smells amazing. And I use it on all of the wood furniture in my house, although I do not use it daily. But since it is a daily, it is very light. It does not leave any kind of film or residue, but it does leave a nice gentle shine. They do have a wood polish, and that one's a little bit thicker and conditioning for the wood. I have used it in the past, and I do like that one too. I just prefer this one more. I really do just love all Method products. I have been using them for years since they first started coming out in Target. I just fell in love with them and now I order a lot of them online through the Grove Collaborative. It is a website that offers a lot of natural housekeeping products among other things and if you use my link down below you will receive $10 off your very first order. So while I finish up the housekeeping, I'm just putting together a quick, easy dinner. I do cook just about every night of the week, so some nights I just need something really quick and easy. So this night I'm just making some frozen ravioli. Normally I will throw it all in the pan and then just add the sauce, cover it, and put it in the oven for an hour and then it's ready. But since it's just about dinner time and I need to speed it up, I'm going to go ahead and boil them for a few minutes first just to get it going. I'm just finishing up with dusting in the living room, getting ready to call it a night. 
and this is what's happening over here but this side is clean and this is the finished product of what I've been doing all day and it's just about seven o'clock and that's typically when we eat dinner so I'm just gonna wrap that up and then plate the food Jillian loves salad just like her mama, but she doesn't have very many teeth yet, so I do chop it up real fine for her like this, and she will usually eat all that I give her. So there it is, the house is clean and dinner is ready, so we are just going to settle down and eat and wind down the night. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure and give it a thumbs up. And if you're new and enjoyed, please make sure and subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram over at Intentful Spaces. And I thank you so much for being here.